Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're good. This is not going to be a lesson, but I wanted to come here and share with you my excitement about the book that is finally, finally being completed. The Lebanese Arabic Dialogues book and Conjugation book. So I wanted to show you a little bit right now I'm working. Look, my microphone is here. I am recording the lessons, etc. So today I'm recording lesson 27. And when I finish lesson 27, there will be 28, 29, and 30. And that's it. It will be fully ready. I started this in 2020. And uh, I've been... Of course, I could have finished earlier, you know. But I don't know. Sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes you procrastinate. Sometimes you work harder. Sometimes you work less. Sometimes you're doing one million things at the same time. So it ended up taking so much time. But the way it's looking, honestly, it's the best book in the world. Okay, so let me show you just a little bit, like to give you an idea about how it's looking. So I will show you, for example, lesson 26, which I was working on yesterday. So, okay, first of all, let me remember what I called exactly the title of the book. It's called 30 Authentic Lebanese Dialogues and Conjugation Essentials from Lebanon with love. So I'm going to just go to lesson 26 and show you. So basically every lesson comes with, first of all, a dialogue. And the dialogue is, of course, with the Lebanese Arabic accent, always. And uh, the levels, which level it is, it's literally to everybody. If you're an absolute beginner, if you're an intermediate, if you're advanced, it's for everyone because it's a build-up and uh, there's something for everyone in there even 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 those of you who don't know how to read and write arabic it's perfect for you because i also use the uh, roman alphabet to transcribe hi everyone hi rosie so let me give you a quick idea okay now ignore maybe the parts that are like not fully edited in terms of like the design there are spaces that i need to work on maybe you know punctuations here and there so i need to give it another proofread but i just want to show you the amount of patience because i wasn't patient to be honest that went in this book uh if uh, i was saying the other day if you hear the audios you would think oh my god this is like so calm so patient but sometimes i was stopping and re-recording and trying and retrying and the, uh, where I record in my home it's so noisy sometimes I shout sometimes I use swear words and I start again so don't be fooled by the calm recorded voice in there but the result at least looks looks like it's calm okay so for example I will show you lesson 26 that is a dialogue between two women talking about uh, one of them is telling her about her trip to North Lebanon to Betul. Okay, let me just show you quickly the chapter if I turn it around. Okay, so this is how the lesson looks. Okay, for example, this is track, imagine this is lesson 26, track 3 to 1. You know how many tracks are there? More than 400, which is crazy. The amount you get is really, really, really really amazing and crazy so you start for example with the vocabulary okay let me just click play for you to see how i record look how many tracks just for lesson 26 this is just lesson 26 so i'm just gonna click for example here on the vocabulary so we can look look at the vocab together just a few words yalla wait let me just put the speaker on okay North Lebanon is beautiful. Okay, let me repeat. Ders is 26. Lesson 26. Hello, Shmel Lebanon. North Lebanon is beautiful. El Mufradet. The vocabulary. Hello, beautiful in the masculine form. Hello. Hilwe in the feminine. Hilwe. Hilween in the plural. Hilween. So, hello, hello, Halloween. Shmel, North, Shmel. Ma, bchabrak, 
but the intonation should be مبخبرك. It's an expression we use to express disbelief. It's a way to say, I can't tell you how much, and then you say what. For example, if you want to say, I can't tell you how beautiful she is, you say, مبخبرك. شو حلوة. مبخبرك. Literally, it means, I don't... Okay, so basically, this is how the vocab continues, okay? And it's a long list of vocab. Let me show you how long this list of vocab is, for example. This is only for lesson 26. And you see how everything is slowly recorded, written with the Roman alphabet, written in Arabic, and I typed literally all the diacritics, all the short vowels on them. And... Look how long the vocab list would be for just one lesson. Okay, after that, we start with the dialogue. So I'm just going to play a small section of the dialogue. But just so you see here, it's written in Arabic, translated into English. But also under it, there is another table where it's written in Arabic, but also immediately under every sentence, you see... It's um, transcribed, transliterated uh, with the Roman alphabet for people who don't know how to read and write Arabic. And then I start by reading the dialogue slowly and then faster. Let me show you, for example, how I read the dialogue the first time slowly. Okay? الدرس الستة وعشرين Lesson 26 حلو شمال لبنان I'll show you the Roman alphabet part. North Lebanon is beautiful. اسمعوا الحوار التالي مع التفسير واقروه على ما oh, this is the faster one, but it's Listen okay. to the following dialogue with the explanation and read slowly. يا الله شو حلو شمال لبنان يا الله oh my or oh my god شو حلو how beautiful it is شو حلو شمال لبنان how beautiful North Lebanon is. Let me see the is. transliteration. Ya Allah, shu hilu shmeel Lebanon. Ma bkhabrik adde mbasatna. Ma bkhabrik. Literally, I don't tell you as a way to say, I can't tell you how much. Ma bkhabrik adde how much mbasatna. We had fun. It's a verb in Arabic. We're not saying we had fun. We're not using had. It's like we're saying we happied as a way to say we had fun. Mabkhabrik to a woman. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how much fun we had. Anjad, really? Anjad? Khabrine kilshi. Tell me all about it. Khabrine, tell me to a woman. Kilshi, everything. Khabrine. كل شيء كم يوم قعدت هونيك how many days did you plural stay there literally you sat down which means you stayed كم يوم how many days قعدت هونيك كم يوم okay so this is the part with the explanation now you have a third audio where I read it and I pause without explanation so that you have the, the opportunity to practice your pronunciation. And then I read it once more with the, like, the natural speed with which we read in Lebanon. I want to add something to it. I want to bring, uh, I want to try to find in London a person who speaks Lebanese Arabic, a guy and a girl, so we can re record these dialogues with with the re like for example here i'm recording with my voice masculine and feminine so to make it more obvious and clearer to make it like a more natural thing we're gonna record it together um uh with like a, you know different voices and not only just my voice so i will show you now the part the section where uh, you can just practice your pronunciation and then you can read it with a natural speed okay Yell. Let me turn my camera again. So in that section, for example, if you know how to read Arabic, you can follow here. You don't need to also look at the writing. You can test your listening, for example, without looking at your um, at your text. But I will show you the text. Lesson 26. Hello, Shmel, Lebanon. North Lebanon is beautiful. 
اسمعوا واقروا الحوار التالي أسرع شوي أوكي Listen to and read the following dialogue a bit faster. As usual, I will start by reading and pausing so you have time to repeat after me. The second time around, I'm going to read with a natural speed. Let's I will begin. open here so you can try. Ya Allah, shu hilo shmel Lebanon. Try to say it with me. Ma bkhabrik adde mbasatna. عن جد خبريني كل شي كم يوم قعدتو هونيك تلت ايام اول يوم وعينا بكير تروقنا وزرنا مغار تجعيتا بكسر وين Okay, I paused it. So now you have an idea about how you can practice your pronunciation with this audio. But then you also have the opportunity to listen to the real speed. Let me try to find immediately. Wait. Rtehna shway. Okay. Rtehna shway. One second. Wutawalna bissahra kamen. Kir. Trawakna wuzirna mgar tajayi. So look. I'm still saying slowly. Okay, now I say it faster. Look. Let's repeat. Ya Allah, so hello, Shmail Lebanon. Ma bkhabrik adem basatna. An jad, khabrini kil shi. Kam yom aadto honik. Tlet yom. Awal yom wa'ina bakir. Trawakna wuzirna mgar tajayita bik. And the rest of it. Okay. And it's not just that every single verb that is in the dialogue is written down, explained so, 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 so slowly, recorded with my voice. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. I keep saying good things about my, but honestly, it's really, really very nice. Okay. So, for example, we now listen to the dialogue, etc. Now we will do some grammar. Okay. So you scroll down. Where I just did, I scrolled down to here, and it says time for some grammar. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna click on conjugating verb to have fun in the past tense. Okay, so yalla. Time for some grammar. صار وقت القواعد. خلونا نصرف مبسطنا. جذور الفعل بالماضي هن مبسط ومبسط. Let's conjugate mbasatna in the past tense. The roots of the verb are mbasat and mbasat. So they are the same. Ana mbasat. I had fun. Here we have two options. Either we pronounce it by merging the ta and the te sounds. Ana mbasat. Or we can pronounce ana mbasatit. Both are okay. Ana mbasat. Or Anna Mbasatit. In Tambasat, you masculine had fun. Again, you can say In Tambasat or In Tambasatit. In Tambasatit, you feminine had fun. Here we cannot say In Tambasatit. No, we have to say In Tambasatit. And we have to merge the ta and the te sounds. In Tambasatit. هو مبسط. He had fun. هو مبسط. هي مبسطت. She had fun. هي مبسطت. Notice here, my stress is on the first syllable. مبسطت. هي مبسطت. نحنا مبسطنا. We had fun. نحنا مبسطنا. انتو مبسطتو. You plural had fun. We're merging the ta and the te. Entum basato. Henne basato. They had fun. Henne basato. Let's repeat. Ana basat. Au ana basatit. Entam basat. Au enta basatit. 
انت انبسطت هو انبسط هي انبسطت نحن انبسطنا انتو انبسطتو هن انبسطو And the rest continues with all the conjugations in that chapter. Let me show you. So this is the first table, second table, third, fourth, fifth. Endless tables of conjugations literally recorded in the same way that I just um, showed you right now. Uh, and later on, uh, the more you advance, the conjugation starts with context. Yani for example, I spent all my day there. Ana addayt kill nhaare honik. Rather than just conjugation, conjugating ana addayt, I spent. So the conjugation becomes more and more uh, with context and uh, a little more difficult. Of course, the first few chapters were easier and the build-up is slow. This is one of the chapters that I consider not easy at all. And here you saw me conjugating the table and not explaining the rule of the past tense. But of course, in the previous chapters, I explain how we conjugate the past tense. For example, and the present tense and the present continuous and the future tense and um, what else? So... <sighs> I think these are the tenses that I use in the book. So each each chapter kind of focuses on a, on a tense as well. So this is mainly the the uh, a quick kind of like idea of the book. I'm hoping I will finish the, all the recordings within a week and proofread it. I'll give myself a couple of weeks to proofread it, and it should be ready by the first of July. And uh, yeah, I am really, really, really happy about it. I'm really excited about it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to share it with you. So yeah, I just wanted to come, let you know about this. And then I'm going to continue recording lesson 27 today. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know. You can type under the video, etc. And if you like this video, press on the heart. Just a like or something, give, give this video a thumb up or make a comment under it because it really, really helps to spread the word as well. Okay, yalla. Bye.